just edit this so I don't look like a loony. You can keep that in there. I'm Lauren Webster and I'm a visual artist. And I started out as um, just doing, you know, painting and drawing in, in a more traditional sense and then I think that um, other interests of mine kind of just came into the picture and I started to see ways that I could share my work. So yeah, I didn't, um, I didn't grow up in Sydney. I grew up on a property in country New South Wales. It wasn't like I'd never been to Sydney. It was always sort of the, the big city that we sort of, you dipped a toe into and then back out to the bush kind of thing. Yeah, I love the fun sort of vibrancy of it. And yeah, it, it's definitely been my home for like, I guess, what, yeah, 15 years or something now. I don't even know, but yeah. So I've, I've been in Sydney for a while. The skateboards are a fun one. A company called Lark Skate Co, they got in touch and they wanted to collaborate. It's quite a free sort of um, creative relationship and it's really, it's been fun to team up with them and then work on interior pieces a bit. People will also commission just like a, a, a canvas or an artwork on, on paper to be framed for their home, which I also really love because it's quite a personal exchange. What other things have I been doing? I've been experimenting a little bit with um, photography and mixed media and kind of creating prints and things like that. So at the moment it's like, it's a lot of ideas. Yeah, the surf and skate thing is an interesting one. Didn't really grow up in that scene, but it's been nice, I guess, that my art's been welcomed into that sort of world. So yeah, with the, with the kind of retro um, vintage stuff, I think those aesthetics are just things that have spoken to me for a long time. For instance, the, the old cars that you find lying around, it's just that idea of old school storytelling and ideas from the past and kind of how you can draw a little bit of an idea from, you know, a time that's been and potentially make it your own. Sydney, as far as how it's impacted my work, it probably would be some of those things that are related to surf and skateboarding and sort of anything, anything to do with the water because that was never really part of my life before. So I guess it's just a, it's a different world, it's a broader, really eclectic environment, so you can't really help but be impacted by that, I suppose. Um, but all I kind of take from Bondi is the, the beautiful coastline and the water and the cliffs and the, the parks and stuff around, so I love that. Like I'm normally like pretty relaxed and then <laughs> I feel like you ask me a question I'm like well oh yeah so the pocket knife symbol kind of means a few different things to me I guess it's got my history with the object itself and what it meant for me growing up on a farm and um, always kind of wanting a pocket knife to be like the big the, you know like the guys and have my own so that I could be, help out and do that like not that there was much that I needed to do with the pocket knife but it did it sort of had symbolic meaning there for me as well but it's a shield it's a bit of a defense it's a symbol of kind of like I guess strength and independence in a way so that's like as I said I don't necessarily like to always assign too much meaning to an object so that that's all that other people see in it but these little things, they might look like simple little objects when you look at the artwork, but to me there's a lot more underneath it.